Now I gotta ride or die today's video off with a question which one would you rather have the mark 7 st right here or would you have a mark 2 st which one similarly priced maybe these days these seem to be going up like crazy at the moment these fantastic pocket rockets these incredibly tunable if i can get it in camera let me know below what we'd rather have this one or this one but we're starting the day off going into the garage because you guys would have seen that I've taken the bonnet off the Series 1. We have, uh, whoa, I nearly got wet then. We nearly got wet. Cheers, mate. 911. I'd have one. I'd cut some arches into it. Not even going to lie. I know a lot of people won't like that, but that's the way I would have my 911. But let's get on to the Series 1, because that's why we're really here. As you can see, as we pan over, the bonnet is in fact off the Series 1. Because I was doing so much with the engine work, we got, as you last saw in uh, a couple of videos ago, we got a new tank, new bits to take it back to pretty much stock. That was the whole idea here. And I wanted to make sure it was super nice under here. So we got a couple of bits aqua blasting, we got some sand blasting done. And yeah, really happy with the results. But the only thing that was really doing my head in, other than obviously a couple of other bits in the engine bay, was the bonnet. you guys remember had mirrors on it or chrome bits on it to go with the chrome engine bay which was great at the time in maybe the late 2000s maybe but for me just wasn't what I was into so the plan was to always take the mirrors off and as you can see and I'll put some overlay in now it took us three people around four or five hours to get to this point now as you guys saw in you know the overlay it was super hard for us to actually get all of this off because it was tied the seal that was actually holding this mirrors onto the bottom of the hood and it was really hard to actually pull this off unless you were pulling all the paint off now we actually used a toffee wheel to actually try and get as much of this off as possible and that took absolutely ages. It took such a long time. But as you can see, I wanted to start the video by showing you guys this bit and actually showing you the finished result for the minute because there's loads of other paint bits I actually want to do to this car. And I want to get this done at the same time as doing the other bits that I've sort of already pointed out in a couple of videos ago. But the best way to do this was actually taking the bonnet off because it was the underside and actually pulling this all off, heating it up, making sure it actually came off without taking too much of the paint off as well was such a task it was genuinely hard and i put the camera down just to make sure i was doing a really good job for this just because i didn't want all of the paint coming off of this more than anything but we will respray this i think at some point to go with a couple of other bits as i've already said with the series one but when was the last time you saw a series one with no bonnet now i know it's highly illegal to drive this round with no bonnet on it but it looks so cool exposing that cvh it mate it looks so so cool especially as it's freshened up as well i'd love to drop this down outside and actually get some really nice photos of it so we might be able to do that but today i should be putting the bonnet back on hopefully we'll get this back on and situated so pretty much other than the two caps that i've bought this cap and that cap which are not here yet this should be pretty much complete for how far i wanted to go with the car at this moment i want to drive it around this summer to enjoy this thing so yeah this is as far as we're going to go this side of the summer because again i want to drive this thing around but towards the end of the year we will be doing a lot more with it paint wise and i will document it on the channel as much as possible but yeah as a view what a cool thing to sort of have the bonnet off of i know it's really really odd thing to put on camera but i like the look of it so if you're watching this video and you think oh i actually quite like chrome and i want chrome in my rs turbo or i want to buy chrome bits for my rs turbo i have many <laughs> chrome rs turbo bits for sale um i polished all these up as far as i can go uh put a bit of work into them a couple of hours work in all of this and just made them as nice as possible but they will be for sale so if you want to hit me up if you're watching this video and you actually want to buy any of these please shoot me a message instagram facebook and i will send over how much they are they're not a lot 
you know, 100 quid, 75 quid for stuff. Um, we'll do a package deal on the whole lot if you want them. But yeah, Fiesta stuff is really, really expensive these days, and so is Escort stuff. So if you would like any of this, hit me up. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm actually going to end today with a bit of an update on my garage. Now you guys have seen we took this from literally nothing. It was just a horrible place to pretty much put any car. My D100 lived in here and it was horrible once I bought the Series 1. I really wanted somewhere nice to keep it, if I'm honest. So I will show you guys around quickly. We are at a point where I've just put more random stuff in it at the moment. Just because I've got no other space for it. The Series 1 is of course at JW Auto Shine. Just getting a few bits done to the engine bay as you've seen. So there is a few bits of like wood and brushes and stuff around but we'll show you around because yeah i'm really happy with this space if i'm honest so we have a get hex hexagon lighting system and this is probably one of the best additions i've ever done it's such a simple system and really you know cost effective considering how much light these actually give out it did such a good job turning this space into just a really nice lit workshop if you wanted to be but showroom you know I've ended that i'm never gonna really work in here i just want to sort of have somewhere really nice to put my car but yeah under these lights it is really really nice as you can see there's loads of uh, wall expanding foam stuff, you know, builder stuff, just going around. This is all going to be blocked out in the not so distant future, just to make sure we're all properly, not necessarily waterproof, but more weatherproof if I can, as much as I can. So we are working with a really old building here, and unfortunately, this is actually where I am is listed, so I can't actually just demolish this and start again. So just going through and just doing the top bits up there is something added on there. It's something we've done just so we can um, keep this place nice more than anything. I want to make sure everything I'm doing is protected, as well as the car is protected. And as you can see up here, we've got just stuff. I want to cover this wall in, you know, just stuff that. that means a lot to me uh, we have you know tons of hot wheel stuff that i've just recently started collecting from you know different parts of the world these are from um mainly from the uk mainly from uh you know just my adventures around the uk from the past and stuff but yeah a couple of bits from actually hks in japan just there the first FYD diamond we ever did, support violent driving from, the drift day we did in Japan, and past this, I'll just show you guys this, because this stuff is really, really cool. So the first sticker I ever did for FYD, Nürburgring sticker from the Nürburgring petrol station outside Nürburgring, ticket from the rally day we went to, Hoonigan from actual Hoonigan in Long Beach when they were at Long Beach, and yeah, Hoonigan, another sticker just up there from Hoonigan from Long Beach, and up garage sticker from up garage so that had to go on the wall and yes various things my old number plate from my dodge ram with the lakers because i went to see the lakers in la when we were there so that's really really cool to see that cadillac service sign so cool in and out burger if you guys have been to in and out you'll know full well what i'm talking about big roll wall 911 rwb uh, banner this of course wasn't actually bought from rwb at the time but we went there and really really enjoyed that day so yeah had to put a big big banner up to just show my support and show the love for those cars and what he's doing out there cadillac skateboard up there as well took that out of the uh, office so i thought i'd bring it down here put it up on the wall with proper skateboard mounts Cadillac sign, of course my Cadillac's probably never gonna be in this space, unfortunately, because it's really, really small in comparison to how big that car is. Big HKS sign, mainly because we went to HKS in Japan. It was such a good trip that I wanted to sort of commemorate that by having a big banner. A few things up here, we have the Series 1 RS Turbo that came with the car in the back, so probably one of the original ones. A Japanese train hook that would go on the back of, say, some drift cars and stuff. It's the handle from a train, really big thing in Japan. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd put my one up there. That is an actual Japanese one as well. I actually bought that in Japan. And yeah, number plate from the D100 when we had that. And just a couple of bits down here, mainly from eBay and stuff, just cool signs and stuff. And look at this, Gas Monkey Garage, die cast model so cool and this is actually 
from Florida, this number plate, although it is of course fake, it's in uh, a UK number plate setting, and that from Hollywood Boulevard in Los Angeles. So yeah, quite a lot of things. This isn't just like some random stuff I bought. It's quite a lot of really nice stuff. And if we come over here, sorry again about the mess, we are going to get to the point where it's all nice, but yeah. Stickers from actual Hoonigan and Hoonigan Autofocus. RDB LA sticker there from when I went to RDB. Um, and yeah, just various things. Guest Festival of Speed that we've done. And just various people that supported me in the past. Jeep that came through many, many moons ago. And yeah, we went on the Track Hawk uh, sort of test for that car. Unbelievable day that was. It's just insane. And a couple of things. Players, you know. We love Players Classic. Such a good time there. We will be going there this year. And lastly, you can see this BMX up here. This this was the uh, BMX when I was about 14, 15 years old. I saved up and bought one for £270. And yeah, I had to resource one of these. This isn't the one I used to have, unfortunately. I sold it, but I had to resource one. And yeah, it's just a showpiece. I just really wanted one because I feel like nostalgia stuff like this for me um, is, is just the coolest stuff ever. So having one of these up in my garage is so, so cool. And yeah, really, really happy that I have that. I'm gonna actually end this video with a bit of a thank you to everybody watching right now. Now I know the channel has changed quite a lot in the recent sort of couple of months from car review stuff to more vloggy stuff stuff that I sort of prefer doing because I do feel like car review stuff's a little bit not necessarily dead on YouTube but for me it just got I don't know if it wasn't thousand horsepower stuff and I'm, be, I'm gonna be really real with the guys that are watching right now if it wasn't thousand horsepower stuff never got views and you know some of the stuff yeah it'd blow up it would be really good but unfortunately I was just I ended up driving stuff that I just wasn't that happy with and you know, trying to find the positives from a car that you don't care about is really, really hard sometimes. So I just want to make that very, very clear that I know the change is there. I have changed the channel for my head more than anything. It's not a financial thing whatsoever because there's not a financial thing going on here. YouTube's really, really just not the biggest financial game whatsoever. But I just wanted to make sure you guys knew more than anything what was going on. I haven't really reflected on it whatsoever. And now we're a couple of months down the line. And yeah, I've done a couple of car reviews here and there. But I just wanted to make sure you guys know what's going on. So I do want to bring more vlog stuff. I do want to bring daily vlogs one day. I'd love to do that. Um, I just don't think my life's exciting enough. I've said that in the past where I just don't feel like I have access to the best cars on the Isle of Wight. Very niche market down here. Not a lot of people have loads of money for mad builds on cars and stuff. So that's just one of those things. And today we're actually celebrating seven years of me starting FYD Apparel the Brand and the channel just sort of slightly after that. Um, and the fact that I'm still able to be here making this video with guys watching it, you know, guys and girls out there watching it and just sort of enjoying the process and enjoying finding out new things, still understanding the space that is YouTube because it is a very, very odd space. The, mad, the, the maddest thing for me is stuff that takes me 10 minutes to shoot could go mad and stuff that I've taken, you know, a massive trip to the other side of the world for doesn't do very well. It's really, really odd, but I'm just trying my hardest to make cool content and stuff that I would want to watch as well. I watch a lot of American um, vloggers and, uh, and various people like that and I just love watching their progress with their cars, their lifestyle and all that sort of stuff and I just like to bring that to the UK a little bit more rather than just having car reviews every 10 minutes because for me it's not like it's dead and I will always try and you know shoot or at least feature people's cars. But I think for me personally, and I'm gonna say this now, it's just not one of those things I wanna be doing anymore. It, the pressure's so hard to um, sometimes, you know, review a new car. The pressure's there because you're driving this car, you're, you're enjoying it and stuff, but you've gotta give a, a reflection as to what you actually think of that. And you might even have it for half an hour, an hour, two hours at the max. So sometimes that's really, really hard. And I, I, I very quickly lost sight. It was really through the lockdown, I lost sight of um, what I really wanted to do with the channel because I always thought it would be a car review channel and I don't know, I just don't think that I could give any more than other creators were doing uh, on the space. That's how I feel. I couldn't bring thousand horsepower cars every 10 minutes. I couldn't, you know, bring you the maddest engine swaps because that's what was getting the views. It still gets the views now and I just feel like, you know, me being very blunt, it's not really something I can show you guys. So I'd rather show you guys my life, a little bit more backstory, and just um, the process of me doing up little bits on my cars, because I think that's sort of what I would want to watch. That's what I watch from, you know, maybe all the American uh, YouTubers and stuff. But yeah, I hope we can sort of keep this up. I really like the way the channel's going. I like the new camera we're using, and I just like it all. So um, 
yeah, I like this direction. Please let me know in the comments what you think, because of course it is down to you guys what I actually do um, on the channel and what goes on. But yeah, every other day trying to upload, and then one day we might get to you know five, six uploads a week. That would be really nice. But I'm going to stop there not bore you guys too much thank you so much for watching this part and maybe understanding in the comments i'm not sure maybe not understanding um you know the, the direction of what's going on but um i just appreciate you regardless of if you like it or not watching this part and watching the channel anyway so yeah thank you very much for watching guys i want to put some hot wheels on the wall in my carriage now and i'll see you on the next one